Just like that. All right, so we're gonna do some filming here on this project. We could put in these box beams. Pre-mold, they're fake styrofoam, dude. Look at that, those actually look pretty. These are so long though. How long? 20 footers. 20 footers, I was about to say. We can put this one up first. All right, let's do it. Okay, where are we doing this in the... All right, so this is the room. This room's getting four beams across the ceiling. So first thing first, we're measuring out this. All right, there goes nothing. Cheez-Its? All right, crazy thing about carpentry, right? If you can do the math part, if you can't do math, you're screwed. We might be screwed. We're using the fancy stuff today. Oh, it's a wall stud finder, yeah. Look at it. What? We have a TGI. What does that mean? It's nose, but it's over here. That sucks. So we're trying to find, what, beams out there? No, I'm just. Two by four, screwing. There's blocking right there. Blocky right there. Block right there. Okay, so what we're doing, we're gonna cut this up in little pieces and we're gonna screw them to the two by fours up in the ceiling in a straight line. Or we could do long pieces. So Derek, Derek did the math and we put chalk line. That's the money maker right there. Chalk line. Was not easy. So we're, I'm about to go cut blocks of two by six and then we're gonna butt them up to that, that chalk line there. So next here, got the miter saw all set up. I'm about to put my two by sixes on the ground. I'm gonna set them up here. All right, started nailing these suckers on the ceiling. All right, got some blocks done. Time, time to go bang bang in the roof. Not the roof, ceiling. Bang bang in the ceiling. Time for that. So that's it. I gotta put the rest of these up. Got all the two by sixes on the ceiling. Okay, so you see how like this one, we just did it because we didn't have enough contact points. But right here where you section it all off, two by sixes are not straight at all. So we did it in sections because we can get a straighter line so that when we put these beams up, which are hollow in the middle, it'll fit on there nice and straight because the beams are actually straight. Two by sixes, not straight. So we section them off. It just makes it easier in our job. So this has got a whole lot crazier. So, made a little room in here. So, we had trouble. When we put the beam up, made it up with the fireplace rock, it's too big of a gap. It's too big of a gap. We tried scribing the beam to make it kind of flush, but when you look from the side, it don't look good. And, it's, the gaps is too big. We tried scrapping, but we ain't that good. Plan B, can you see that pencil? Yeah, that, that square, we're gonna grind out the rock. We're gonna cut down the line all the way around, take the rock out, then we're gonna slide the beam in there so it looks flush, looks good. Clean up on this is gonna be crazy. Derek's in there. So we had to take some bricks out of the fireplace. It's not going as smooth as we hoped. So I'm gonna stick the beams in there. Then we're gonna have to piece the, the rock back into the fireplace so those two will be easy. Now time to install the beams. Okay, so this is number one install. I guess next one we'll do, we'll film the next one. But that's what it's supposed to look like installed. Pretty, right? Looks pretty good. Once. Once it's mortared back all the rocks we took out, they look fabulous. Fabulous, sir. So we about to attempt beam number two. So we got two up. We're gonna go for this third one right here. That one. That one's about to go up shortly. All right, so all said and done. This is what it looks like. 
So nice cut, square cut in the corner beams. Looks good though, right? Beautiful. Just like that. Accents. The, the family room right there, pretty nice. Good to go. Once it's all done, it's fun looking. Look how fun that looks. Yeah, looks fun. Looks so much fun. Any last words? Last words. Never again. Never, ever again. No, nope, that's what he says every time. Every time, never again. We still doing beans. So that's the end of the vlog. Number, whatever. Out. All right, back up here at the beam job. Day three. Derek's takes pictures of the sunset. This is why Colorado's. Right this is why Colorado's beautiful. You know I hike bike sheep. Yeah, I did too. I didn't want up the backside though. You did? Yeah, I went up Craig's trail. I'm gonna try to go up the front. Dude, someday, summer. someday I want to go. You gotta make I it happen. Wanna, I want to hike Pikes Peak and then ski down the backside. What do you think? Them, them skis are gonna be heavy. <laughs> That's what.